For those of you that are <clears throat> curious as to what kind of coffee I'm currently drinking, so I always like to drink coffee while I'm working on my videos, shooting my videos, and recording my videos. This is what I'm drinking right now. It's Van Hoot coffee. It's a Colombian medium roast. Very tasty, very yummy. And then I put a ton of cream in it, so... That's how I like my coffee. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about a very special TV series that when I was a kid, I used to watch it quite a bit. And that is The Six Million Dollar Man. This is a fantastic DVD series. So I bought the original, it has the pilot, and it has season one on it, and it's it's fantastic. If you haven't seen any of these, you got to go get this. I'm just going to do a little, <clears throat> I'm going to read the back, just to give you an insight. Um, <clears throat> when I first saw this series, I believe I was like, oh, eight years old. Something like that. I'm not sure what year this came out. I'll have to look it up. Um, but I remember. <clears throat> what's it say here? Um, I remember. Specifically when I was about nine years old. We were living in apartments in Fort McMurray. And I remember. Steve Austin was coming on TV. At about eight o'clock. And about 7.59, my mom said, bedtime, I was devastated. I was crushed. And then, of course, my dad loved watching Six Million Dollar Man, so he turned the channel. And back then, it was pretty quick to turn the channel. You just go, you have like three channels. One of them was the French channel, and then we had CBC. And then I believe it was CTV, and that's it. So the show would come on, I believe it was like a Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, and I had to go to bed. So I remember lying in my bed, and I can hear the theme music of uh, the Six Million Dollar Man, and I would get into my ritual chant of, I want to watch Six Million Dollar Man. And my mom would be like, stop it, go to sleep. And I do it again. I want to see Six Million Dollar Man. I do that for hours. Even after the show was over. Pretty embarrassed now to say that. And I remember sharing that with my mom. And she's like, yeah, you just, you wanted to watch TV. So this, um, like I said, I watched the pilot. And this, this series, the pacing is a little bit different. It's a little bit slower. But when I was a kid, this is like the best thing ever, ever. So I'm just going to read the back just to give you an insight of my world back then and how iconic this TV series was. So here we go. All right. So uh, grievously injured in a crash of an experimental aircraft. Colonel Steve Austin's shattered body is covertly rebuilt via miracle of modern science known as bionics. Equipped with atomic-powered limbs that make him better, stronger, faster than the average mortal, Austin, Lee Majors, can now run at speeds exceeding 60 miles an hour. Can you believe that? Overturn cars with ease. And spot an encroaching enemy from over a mile away. Superman, eat your heart out. Under the watchful eye of OSI director Oscar Goldman, Steve Austin repays his debt to the taxpayers by taking on perilous missions of a highly classified nature. So yeah, so this guy's awesome because... He pays his debt back to taxpayers. That's what makes this guy like a, a real superhero. You know, like he got in an accident through the government. He was uh, test testing out a plane 
and the crash i'm telling you is amazing even by today's standards no kidding um they actually build up this character quite a bit in the in the pilot and as a kid i never did see the pilot but man they they go through the the drama the the um how he actually reacts to basically being barely alive he has uh, he lost his right arm, he lost both legs, he lost an eye. There's nothing much left of him, and they actually spent a little bit of time going through that. <clears throat> but I just want to read season one here, so bear with me and I'll wrap this up. So this is what season, season one is about. Season one chronicles Steve Austin's amazing metamorphosis from a man barely alive to cyborg to patriotic super spy. Armed with futuristic abilities, Austin is dispatched to do battle with kidnappers, armed smugglers, evil scientists, political assassins, and diabolic and a diabolical robot. Whoa. With time enough to spare to counsel a troubled astronaut. Some of you may know who this astronaut is or was. And that is William Shatner. That's right, Captain Kirk before he became Captain Kirk. And so, <clears throat> with enough time to spare to counsel a troubled astronaut and clear his dead father's name. Whoa. Whoa, right there. Wow. Relive the thrill of Steve's first bionic run in this digitally remastered six DVD set fe featuring <clears throat> 13 uncut episodes all three made for tv movies in their original unedited versions and over two hours of never before seen bonus materials I'm telling you this is unbelievable I'm trying to see what the date <clears throat> but i know it came out in the 70s so yeah this might have been actually yeah i guess it was after star trek but I'm telling you, you got to watch this series. So I'm going to be doing a little uh, series on the $6 million man. So stay tuned. Watch that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that way, when I do <clears throat> a video on the $6 million man, you'll be the first one to get notified. So thanks for watching. And I appreciate it. And leave a comment below if you like this type of videos. And also, um, always stay iconic. Thanks for watching.